I just want to preface this video by saying I say all this stuff from a place of love. I want to help you guys, but I need to say it in a way that you feel it and that you understand it. And most people aren't willing to do that, but I am. I am willing to tell you guys how it is so that you actually aspire to make real change. So keep that in mind as you're watching this video. You have to stop trying to think your way out of problems. It never fucking works. What you have to do instead is act your way out of your problems. We think that we can just think so fucking critically. We think, we think, we think, we think. Man, I can't fucking stand when I see a guy who thinks he's successful, but he is not in fucking shape. Because getting your body right is step number one. We see all these fat fucks in corporate America sitting at their fucking keyboard crunching numbers with fucking glazed donut fucking stains in their fucking facial hair like a fucking idiot. Like fucking job of the hut. Man, I saw that at my old job. I, I, I cannot unsee that shit. Imagine, imagine hiring a motherfucker that is fat as fuck. And this, just for this, I'm going to catch so much hate by the, by, by the fat community saying that I'm fucking fat shaming, saying that I'm on fucking steroids and shit. I couldn't hire a motherfucker that does not take care of themselves physically. Because what's going on physically is just a manifestation of your inner thoughts. I've said it before. What's going on physically is just a manifestation of your inner thoughts. That's something I personally experienced when I was addicted to Xanax. Acne breaking out of my face. Hair getting all fucked up. My hairs were like grain and, and coming out. My skin had all these fucking like welts in it from all the Xanax and all the Adderall that I was using. And from me scratching at night when I got so fucking anxious. All my muscle going away, me getting skinny. Not being able to get a fucking erection. All that is, is a product of what's going on mentally. And when you let those thoughts rot you from within, they will be projected outwards. Your physical body is a manifestation of your inner thoughts. Because the first thing that you fucking do when you want to self-improve is, is externalize, literally change how you fucking look. So if you don't have control over your fucking diet, if you don't have control over your exercise regimen, if you don't have control over your fucking physical body, what the fuck? Am I gonna hire you for? What the fuck do you have control over? Motherfucker. What the fuck do you have control over? Who the fuck are you gonna influence? Who the fuck, what, what type of fucking team are you gonna lead? The team of the fucking, the, 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 the trolls? What are you going to leave? The, the, the team of little fucks on Willy Wonka? Get the fuck out of here. You ain't leading shit. How the fuck are you going to lead somebody if you can't even take care of yourself physically? If you think you're successful, but you are fat as fuck. You, you, your mind is so fucking backwards. Because all you're doing is just escaping one problem with another problem. All you're doing is escaping your fucking despise for your own physical body. Your own physical health. With having a shit ton of money. 
I've told you, I, I said it in one of my last videos. All our, all our problems, not a hundred percent of our fucking problems are internal. But yet we look outwards towards things like money. We look outwards towards people that we feel like are holding us back. We look outwards towards things like, oh, I don't have enough women and that's why I'm not happy. I don't have a girlfriend. I don't have enough friendships. No motherfucker. It's all you. Are you together there? We, we keep looking to solve problems. We keep looking to solve all these different problems so that we can escape the fucking real one. Real men are fucking minimalist. Real men don't need any of that shit. It's not bad to have it, but it's only right to have it when you are right here. And I know if you are not right physically, you are not right mentally. I fucking know that. How do I know that? Because I've experienced both sides of the fucking token. I've been the motherfucker that did not take care of himself at all. Waking up fucking 1, 2 p.m., going to bed 3 a.m. Fucking just the nastiest fucking habits. And I've been the motherfucker that wakes up at 4.30. That never misses a workout. That works his fucking tail off. We gotta stop thinking we could we could think our way out of problems. Literally. We have to stop thinking that we can think our way out of problems. It all starts with actions. It all starts with what the fuck you are doing. Are you producing real fucking results? Are you getting into your fucking body every day? Are you taking action? Or are you just the motherfucker that tries to sit back and strategize, watch a million different YouTube videos and write down all this fucking information, read all these fucking books and never does shit about it? Bro, no fucking amount of, of, of journaling, no fucking amount of reading books, no fucking amount of taking in information is going to fucking solve your problems. The only thing that is, is fucking real action, external action. Our problem today, let me, let me take it a step back. If you are out of shape today, if you are fat, then you are a dumb motherfucker. If you are, let me say it one more time. If you are out of shape, if you are fat as fuck, you are a fucking dumb fuck. And you need to be called out for it. Because the amount of information that we have today on the fucking internet is plentiful. The problem is that you are not being honest with yourself. And so you make excuses. I don't have the time to be in the best shape, Finn, because I do fucking running three days a week. Or I, I have to work six, seven days a week and I got long hours. Shut the fuck up. You don't need to be in the gym every day. And if you watch my fucking channel and if you join my fucking coaching program, you would fucking know this or join somebody's fucking coaching program because there's a thousand motherfuckers out here on the internet. And if you're really working all these hours, you should have the money to hire a fucking coach, dumbass. The amount of information we have is plentiful. The problem is that we poison our minds. We throw this fucking, it's like, it's, it's like a trick play. It's like a trick play in the fucking NFL that we're throwing at ourselves. Every fucking time we try and think our way out of problems. Instead of just acting. It's like we're running the fucking double option where the fucking, the running back takes the snap 
and he tosses it to the fucking wide receiver who's making a, a, a V line across the a, a B line across the fucking field laterally, and then the the running back is just running laterally, and he fucking does another fucking toss back, and now you know it's a fucking flea flicker, and you just fucking get sacked every time. It's stupid as fuck. The amount of information we have out here is plentiful. It's not an information problem. It's not that you don't know how to do it. It's that you don't wanna fucking be honest with yourself. You don't wanna look for the way. You don't wanna actually implement it. You don't need to be in the gym five, six days a week. You need three times a week for an hour. I guarantee I will fucking get you results. Guarantee. Do you have three hours a week? Yes, the fuck you do. And if you don't, then make the fucking time. Make the fucking time. Because what the fuck do you look like making all this money and shit when you look like shit? What the fuck good is that money for when you look like dog shit? You don't have any sort of fucking abs. You don't have any sort of muscle definition. You look like a fucking bowl of jello. I don't have the time, Finn. I, I don't have the time. You look stupid as fuck. You need to make the fucking time because by not making the time, you are sacrificing your physical health. And how do you think that makes everyone around you fucking feel? How do you think that fucking makes your parents feel when they gotta worry about their fucking fat ass son? That's got all sorts of fucking health complications. How do you think that makes your fucking girl feel when she's got a skinny boyfriend who fucking eats one pack of ramen a day and never fucking does any physical activity? I don't have the time. Well, you're making all this fucking money. Hire a fucking coach. Sacri if you still don't have the time, sacrifice some of that time that you spend working and put it towards fucking working out. Do you honestly think that making more money is the cure to the fucking problem? Do you honestly think that you don't have the time and that you are just going to continue working and that, and that, that that's a better life than taking some of that time away from work and putting it towards fucking working out? Do you honestly think that running from your problems and solving a different problem to escape the real fucking problem is going to help you? Do you honestly think that you are going to think and take in so much information of, uh, what do I say to girls? What, uh, what, what, what is the best bot? What is the best exercise for my lateral deltoid? Shut the fuck up. The fucking basics. Let's take it back to the fucking basics, fellas. I guarantee you know what your real problem is. I guarantee if you put your effort towards that and took it away from all this other bullshit that you're chasing, everything else would fall in place. Everything fucking else. I don't respect the man no matter how much money he has if he is an out of shape fuck. I don't respect the man no matter how fucking kind he is, no matter how good hearted he is, if he is an out of shape fuck, if he does not take fucking care of himself. Cause that shows a lack of fucking priorities. That shows a lack of self-respect. That shows a lack of self-love. That shows that he is running from his fucking proms. There's no reason you shouldn't be in the best fucking shape of your life. Not mediocre shape, the best fucking shape. It is literally going to augment every single other thing you fucking do. Being in a consistent gym routine where you're training hard and you are fucking seeing results. This is something that Wes Watson said. If you're going to the gym and you're on the consistent routine and you're not seeing results, you are worse than the guy who doesn't even fucking make an effort to go. 
You are worse. Because now you're wasting all this fucking time. You're still not being honest with yourself. You're still not looking for the solution. You're still not acting. Acting. On the fucking problem. All you're trying to do is think your way out of it. Well, I'm going to the gym, so I got that covered. Why am I still not seeing weight loss? I guarantee you follow your fucking macros. I guarantee you hit your workouts. I guarantee you hit your sleep. That that fucking weight will come off, dumb fuck. I fucking guarantee you. You just want to put in the time and say that you went to the gym. You don't want to actually see results. You just want to say you did it. To feel like you don't have a guilty conscience anymore. Fucking dumbass. You're never going to think your way out of these problems. You have to fucking take real action. You have to stop taking in information and put out information. You have to... You have to output. Increased output requires decreased input. Stop listening to so many fucking YouTube videos. Stop listening to so many fucking self-improvement motherfuckers. Start examining your fucking self. Stop running from the real fucking problems. Stop running from the fact that you're lying to yourself about your physique and not being able to get in shape with your fucking time. I guarantee you have the fucking time. I fucking guarantee it. I don't give a fuck who the fuck you are. I don't give you a, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a flying fuck if you're the fucking CEO of your bullshit startup. Who gives a fuck? You have the fucking time to work out. Make the fucking time. Make the fucking time to hit your macros. Look for the fucking solution. Buy a fucking meal prep service. Wake up earlier. Go to bed later. Man, fuck it. Start acting. Start really acting on your prompts. There is no thinking your way out of shit. That's what the fuck I tried to do when I was sitting in that fucking basement watching YouTube videos, trying to think and never fucking taking action. Never fucking taking action. Not once. Real men are fucking minimalist. Stop taking in so much bullshit. Stop taking, stop feeding yourself with your diet with so much bullshit. Stop taking so much information that's bullshit in. I don't give a fuck if it's good information. If you're taking in too much of it, it's fucking bullshit. I don't give a fuck how many fucking salads you're eating if you are not fucking losing weight. Act on your fucking problems. You are never going to think your way out of shit. That's it.